Hey guys, if you follow me on social media, you know I recently adopted a cat. This is Phoebe. It's her first time on video. I'm trying to get her <laughs> to stay on my desk with treats. Uh, she's kind of really freaked out by all the cables uh, from all the lights and stuff. But anyway, this week I'm going to show you how to make a cat castle. Because if you're a pet owner like me, and you're probably a, maybe a new pet owner, you're probably obsessed with your cat and you want to give them the best life ever possible and you want to make sure they just have like toys when you go home so i was looking online and looking at tutorials about how to make like a little castle because i know my cat is a queen so i think i told you guys in the last video i actually got a gift card for christmas for art supplies and when i got the package in the mail i actually noticed phoebe really liked playing with the box but i felt like the flaps were a little bit too big for her to be um jumping over like after a while she got really lazy and start stopped jumping over but she still likes to look into it and she really likes to hide behind the box like before we play with our like a little like feather toy and so i was looking online for really simple tutorials and i actually couldn't find that many like simple cardboard box to castle tutorials so of course i had to make my own and yeah this is the end result it's a really simple tutorial you don't need much more than just like markers the box scissors and glue so oh and tape so let's get started so let's build this castle you really don't need too many materials for this tutorial to work you need a box and really just scissors and maybe glue the first thing i'm doing is i'm cutting the flaps of the box because like i said i just feel like phoebe doesn't really enjoy jumping over them anymore she only did it like a couple times the first night I brought the box and ever since then she's never made the effort she's not the most active cat like she plays with me like before I feed her before we go to bed and that's about it she really sleeps most of the day I've noticed on the weekends so I wanted to make it easy for her to like want to interact with this toy while I'm at work and so I cut the flaps on the side and what that's gonna allow me to do is to put them back on the box and kind of get like a tower look going with the box most of the tutorials i saw online involved a lot of like cutting windows with a razor blade and i just thought like number one that's too complicated and too much effort for you know my first box I'm, you guys know i'm always a big proponent of like your first art projects are gonna be kind of ugly so just get them done with and then the next time you can make a better project so that was my idea with this one i just wanted to do like really simple things and see if phoebe actually likes playing with it and of course the box is gonna break down easily i'm gonna make another castle or you know some kind of revision of this project somewhere down the road The only reason I'm measuring like the flaps is just so that I, I get an even tower but it, it's really even not that necessary however what that also allowed me to do was to just lay the ruler flat and then cut with the razor against the ruler so I get an even cut and I only tried to cut the uppermost layer of the flap so that that could work as like a folding enhancer <laughs> if you will and then I'm just, you know, I'm gonna glue the whole thing to the box, so... You guys know I'm not like a very realistic artist, like it's very difficult for me. So I'm not really trying to make it like look super realistic, but I just try to put like the major ideas that I have when I think of of castles which are like towers and like that up and down pattern that you see on the sides of the box so what I'm doing now is just kind of trying to make the box look a little bit more castle like I don't know if you guys have noticed like when you look at pictures of castles they kind of have like this up and down pattern at the tops. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I'm trying to do here. So 
So what I did was just make sure that the taller pieces go on the same side of the box and the shorter pieces go on the other side of the box so that at least it looks intentional. And this is just like cheap, like that kind of glue that you used in like elementary school and middle school. So that's why I'm using these paper clips to kind of help hold the cardboard together as it dries. Now when I put the first flap, I noticed that the paper clip did help keep the flap together near the box at the top, but at the bottom it was still coming off. So I had to go around the entire box with the tape. And so of course that's not the most like refined look, but I'll try to figure out a different way to glue the bottom parts of the flaps for my next building adventure because I just couldn't figure out how to keep the flaps at the bottom, so I just figured it'll just way it'll just be way easier if I just tape the whole all the all the lower components of the box together. Another little detail that I noticed and that I liked when I watched other tutorials online was that like little drawings also make um, your building look a little bit more like realistic so and of course make things look a little bit cuter I decided to make kind of like windows with just like black marker and cover like all the brand names and like the words on the box now of course I made this a few days ago since I made this castle, I actually noticed that poor little Phoebe, she thinks those windows are real and she continues <laughs> to paw at them. Um, I haven't, like at least as of last night, I saw her little pawing at the little windows and doors and I've actually felt a little bad. So I think for my next tutorial, I'm gonna give her real windows or at least I'm gonna try to figure out how to draw them differently. But. Yeah, I don't know if that's actually evil or <laughs> I just feel bad because, you know, I'm just being overly dramatic, but... If you feel afraid that you don't want to mess up your drawing, make sure you just do the, the... Make sure you draw with a pencil to start with and you can always erase it later. I honestly, like, just didn't really care that much. I'm making a big effort of, like, not being a, a perfectionist as much as I can anymore and just instead of finishing the project and this is for both like painting and my youtube like i'm trying to just be more productive not for the sake of being productive but for the sake of you know in an effort to not be like as a perf as much as a perfectionist as i can because it's really easy when you're like a creative person to feel like oh this project can always be better can always be better but what happens is you never finish it and then or at least that's what happens to me i don't finish things or and then i feel really bad that i don't finish them which is what matters is how you feel about them so like i said that's why i continued with this little castle even though like i noticed a couple of things weren't perfect like like the towers and tape at the bottom and i just kept going like i just want to see if phoebe likes the castle and if she likes it or if she doesn't and then what can i do differently because really when it comes down to it this is for my cat not for me so here i'm just finishing up the last few windows and i finally remember that i actually had a thicker marker so i started using that and that made things go a lot more quickly Originally, I started with a sharpie and not only was it almost dry, so it didn't look good But it would took forever because it was like a finer point so Just a heads up if you have a thick marker just start with that When you're done with your castle Just let it sit for a couple hours or maybe even overnight if you can just to make sure the glue like dries properly and um, that it's secure at the top because you know your cat is gonna be like a little bit rough on the box so if you went through the whole entire process of making this box 
this in this style or any other style you of course want it to last like a little bit the whole process of making this castle took me like under two hours maybe an hour and a half and i think the only reason i know it took me that long is because my battery died so not a huge chunk of time in like the general sense but if you're a person that's more lazy or just you're a busy person and you have many things to do you of course don't want to take hours on end unless of course that's like your thing and you like to make things like very detailed so this is the finished result like i said phoebe mostly likes using the box as like a hiding spot and then attacking the feather toy but like i said she mostly seems to want to hide into things so i think the next box project i'm gonna make is gonna be something that she can go into thank you guys for watching if you still are please remember to subscribe if you like to continue talking about art and world domination oh my gosh she actually went in <laughs> okay you guys phoebe actually went into the box and so proud uh, she's been really freaked out by like my lighting setup and stuff so I've been trying to bribe her with treats. I have like treats. I have her little, little feather toy up here trying to get her on camera. <laughs> uh, yes. But yeah, so this is my castle for my cat Phoebe. I hope you guys like learned how to make a quick and easy castle for your cat. Um, Phoebe. And yeah, anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.